Welcome back guys to Pokemon Moon where we return to Po Town because people were saying there's something interesting if I sit down on Guzman's Steep but of course we're heading back to Seafolk Village at the moment after Hapu has become a kahuna by the look of it. Excuse me, B? But, 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 you're not the boss? What's the deal, homie? You're not the boss of me! <laughs> no, I'm not the boss of you. Does that keep happening if I sit down then? The arms of the chair look like they've been slammed countless times by angry fists. Well, he doesn't have to get so upset, but basically, you become the boss of them. But not really. One day, I will become the boss of Skull. For now, however, Let's actually get to where we're supposed to be. A Seafolk Village. And I never thought to really sit on it, to be honest. Never thought it would give me a scene. But scene it did. I always have to wear my special Pokemon flying gear. Now let's get over. Thank you, Hapu. And thank you, Mudstell. That's what friends do. F friends? An amazing trainer like Hapu considers me a friend? Thank you, Hapu. I will not give up no matter what. To journey to Executor Island, you should speak with the Chief of the Sea Folk. I shall be wishing for your safety. Ooh, in. Okay then, Mudstell. Time for us to go toxapex some executors. If we're hoping the Seafolk will give us a ride, then I guess we should talk to their chief. Zzzt. Indeed, we should. Oh, was it, it wasn't in here. It was that one, wasn't it? That's the restaurant. We're missing it. We're missing it. More to the point. Let's go for the flag. That's the obvious destination. Did you find her? Yes, and Hapu was made the new kahuna! Ho ho! That's a joy to my ears! Her old grandfather must be smiling down on us. Yes, Hapu will do her best for her late grandfather, as I must do my best for my mother's sake, and for Nebby as well. Ah, and so, there's a place that we need to go! Executor Island, to find the flute. I'm always good by me. To find the flute! Oh, you must want Executor Island! Indeed. Well, you two did meet the Kahuna already. And Pony's captain ain't around anyway. So I guess there's no point waiting on any trials. Alright, the SS Magic Cup will have you there. And you'll think you're sailing in a dream. The SS Magic Cup. It used to be Anne. Back in the day. I still remember the name of that cruise ship. That was a long, long time ago in a galaxy far away. Technically still in this galaxy and world. Still. Ha! Here we are at Executor Island! I heard this place used to be a trial site. Oh, that was a long time ago now. You go on. Good luck to you both. Let's go find that flute, right? Trainers really can't go anywhere as long as they have their Pokemon, can't they? I think I'm beginning to understand the appeal. I'm following. You don't have to, like, bring me along. It's all good. I will come. So, Executor Island. I don't know what we're finding at the end of Executor Island. That is where we're going. It is indeed. I guess we talk to you if we want to get back anytime. Yep, pretty much. So, what's on this island exactly? Small patches of grass? Possible Pokemon to be caught. I feel like trainers can open up the door to any future as long as they have their Pokemon. That's what it looks like to me when I see you, Alessandri. And Hapu and how too. There's something there. Ah, what is it, Alessandri? And you'll find that's an executor. 
Judging by the noise, I remember that. Because it's the tree itself. A wild executor appeared, a lowland form. Go on, Toxpex, I know you can do it indeed. Can we catch this one? Right, well, we frisked Toxpex and Waterium Z was taken away. That sucks. But the more sucky part of this, isn't it like there's like multiple super effective opportunities here for the opponent? Well, let's use a Toxic. Not exactly that clever if we wish to catch it. I can't even see its head. Super effective, but we still have ourselves a fair amount of defense. So the question comes as to how we want to try and take it down apart from that. Will V-Shock be able to take it down in one go? Because I don't want it to. Super effective because it's a grass type. And of course, we landed a critical as well. Oh well, I'm a big failure. And leveling up. I'll take those lovely defensive stats. It doesn't matter if someone's super effective against me, my defense is so good now. A tree has been defeated. Phew, that was an executor, wasn't it? I think the good weather in Alola has let it grow a bit more vigorously than I prefer. What's up? You find the situation amusing? Funny? I'm not sure. I keep exploring Executor Island all day! Let's find some more of those giant eggheads! Yes, let's find actually some more. So essentially, the trees themselves we could attack and find them? We might need to switch Pokemon to be able to actually, like, you know, defeat it in a nice, easier fashion. And if I had to say, well, it's be special attack that they'd be using. So Lazzle would take it down too easily as well. Pretty much most of my Pokemon are built to destroy that. In various, various ways. Well, let's go with you, Charger. Get to the front lines for me. Alright, onwards we go. I wonder if we can just find executors in the wild everywhere. Nope, Pelly Peppers. Well, that's disappointing, but we do know we're better. Let's go into the cave for now, I guess. So everything's kind of getting nearish on level now, so that's not bad. It does mean that when we defeat something, we get a ton of stuff, however, as well. It fell to spit up. Spark will take it down. This is where we probably want to get on Stoutland. Who knows what secrets could be hiding around the place. Well, Charger Bug's about to level up as well. Right, you grew to level 52. This happens when you defeat evolved Pokemon, so let us... Open that, get Stoutland on. No, there's nothing around. You thought there probably would be in this kind of area. Oh, well, come on then, Lily. Rain. Oh, it started to rain. Pushing us into the cave, eh? Rain in Alola, huh? My skirt got a bit wet. Looking out at the rain like this reminds me of this one time when I was little. I seen it in a movie. This man singing and dancing in the rain. It captivated me so much that I had to try it for myself. My mother spotted me out in the rain, and she was so shocked that she ran right out after me without even bothering to get an umbrella. And then she smiled, and she danced with me in the rain. And of course, we both ended up catching a cold. She let me sleep in a big bed with her. I was so happy that I kept waking her again and again, just to be sure it wasn't a dream. But then she changed, and all she would think about was the Ultra Beasts, and Null, and Nebby. They both ended up suffering so much, and I couldn't do anything. But you know what, Olazandri? Whenever I feel that there's nothing I can do, you seem to show up and you do something. Every time, you show me that it's possible to do something. Even the first time we met. Nebby was being attacked and all I could do was look on in horror. And at Ape Paradise, all I could do was wait for you and the others to save me. 
Whenever I'm in any sort of trouble, you're always there. I... Um, Alessandri, what are you going to do once you finish your island challenge? Feel my Pokedex gets stronger. I don't know. The world has many, many things to do. Obviously, go to the Pokemon League if it's been built. Oh, thank goodness. It's such a relief to know that even someone like you feels unsure at times, Alessandri. I think I'd like to become a trainer too. And travel together with you, Alessandri. Well, at least my expression is capable for that at the moment, but was that just a confession? Did you mean to say that? Ah! Shooting stars now, or is that just sunlight breaking through? Maybe there really are good omens sometimes, wouldn't you say? You do wonder, Lily ran ahead somewhere, where'd she go? And uh, did she still get lost all the time? Is this an actual cave? No it's not. But there is a big pearl hidden in the middle of it. Of course there's a Stoutland item when I stop using Stoutland. So there's a lower part and an upper part of Exeggutor Trail. A prism scale! I feel like we could have used that a while back. Militic. I could have had you once, except I couldn't have. So yeah, useless to say. A hut scale! Just try all the dead ends, obviously. You will find goodies there. Nothing here. Doesn't seem to be anything hidden here either. Well, let's reach the top then. Though it seems that we're out of Executor instant encounters, which sucks. Oh, well, Sandri! Flute is placed on a very old pedestal. Will you take the flute? Well, yes, I will. So the moon flute has been obtained. Now we have both the sun flute and the moon flute. I don't know if it will really summon the legendary Pokemon, but we can at least try. If nothing else, we'll send the flutes and offering like people used to do. So thank you for coming this far with me, Alessandri. Let's go meet the chief of the sea folk and get back to Pony Island. So if I want to get Executor, I just go there any point in time I want to. Look at you, trial goer. You're going to the altar to play the flutes? The altar lies all the way through the vast Pony Canyon. It's a long road there. That path is like nature's own trial. Good luck to you, friends. And why don't you stop by and tell Hapu that you're off before you go? So we can always take that to get back. I imagine we can probably fly there as well. The vast Pony Canyon lies up the way from the ancient Pony Path where Hapu lives. Sure thing. Well, let's get moving then. Toxapex took that hit, no problem, after all. Completely nuked that. Of course, poison I know is strong against grass, but I know that Psychic is strong against poison. So, again, I messed up my typings and thought that Psychic was resistant to poison. Which is what caused the critical win. I'm a fool! I can't help but be a foolish fool. Oh, Charger. I don't think there's any reason to fight just yet, really. We're gonna get too much experience if we keep fighting involved Pelly Peppers. Also, the fact that you guys have been telling me for a long time now that if I want to evolve him, her, it, I'm nearly there. Fast Pony Canyon is the destination I want to be. But of course, it'll probably only happen on a level up. So let's leave it like that. You guys have been telling me be a late game evolution for a long, long term. And yeah, you're definitely true if it's level 50. Alright then, so let's go say hi to Hapu, who must be either in his house or just waiting outside her house. See, genders. I suck at them, so I don't care. Oh, Skull! Why are you sitting in the way? You're from Team Skull. 
What is it you want from us? Here they come! I heard about you numbskulls at Aether. Do you really know a way to save our boy Guzma? I will be your new leader. I will be your boy. We can make you talk, even if we have to cut you to the bone! You don't have to battle me. Well, seems we've got a Skull Barrage coming our way. Okay then, Team Skull Grunt. Well, we weren't going to level you, but it's going to happen now, isn't it? The Mantis comes out. Maybe not. The Mantis might not give much experience. Essentially, the whole Let's Play had been building up to this moment. But yes, X Scissors was always going to be super effective, and yeah, it's probably better if I replace it with Leech Light. Because getting stab extreme health drain is always a great thing. Ow, that hurts! Even my head hurts! You didn't have to battle me! Just talk! Oh, rat, whatever you want to do. Okay, so you're coming to the bone! Ouch! With an X Scissors, in fact. Fumaria? Doesn't matter! We'll come after you with all our Pokemon at once, little home slice! We'll give 200% to save our boy, Guzma! Five on one? Or is this double battles, is it? Now they're literally coming as a battle gaunt- No, they actually come in with five Pokemon! I guess that's a good way to represent it. One by one? Well, thank you. Well, Salandic so comes out first. Don't tell me. You didn't have subscribers that told you about Mel Salandits, did you? I feel sorry for you. Very much sorry. Well, let's go dig. Hey, beautiful dodge, because of course that would be super effective. It doesn't even try it, it just goes straight down. It's a subway train right now. This is where it poisons me. What? How? Surely that shouldn't count. Is it because of the ability that Salandit has? That allowed it to affect even something under the ground? I thought you I couldn't be attacked while I'm down there. Well, Charge Rock Root's level 52. Well, let us switch around now, of course. How did he hit me? I guess if it's toxic waste that goes into the, the, you know, the ground, then that makes sense too, I guess. Well, X is a, is a super effective attack type versus the dark Pokemon as well. Let's go with Slashy. I like you so much. Essentially, two ratish Pokemon. Was one being a shrew, but still. Alright, Ice Cold Spear is effective, Slash is effective. Let's go with Iron Head, of course. Try for a flinch. I'm using your Dark type move, because normal type moves won't be that effective against me. Will I get the flinch? That's the real question. Of course not. Sucker Punch comes again. A Sand Slash has this. Ice Slash. And levels up as well! Defense and attack, always spiraling ever upwards. There's some more special defense you really need. Right, Haunter's next. We will switch Pokemon this time as well. Right, who's best to send against you? Do I have anything in particular that's like super duper effective against Ghost? I mean, Ghost's super effective against Psychic after all. Do you know what? Slazzle. I think you can just flame throw it, surely. So look, this is what a proper Salandit looks like. Come on, get with the program, guys. Should we just burst it horribly? God, this has got enough special attack. It probably could. Yep. Well, that's three year Pokemon down. What's out next? A Marini. Will we switch Pokemon this time? 
Yes, we will. Essentially, in a weird way, we're showing you how outclassed you are. Which gives us another good time, actually, to use a certain Z power. Stoke Spark Surfer. Right then, Raichu. Go get him. I was expecting you to hold on, but I guess that was just a bit too much. Of course, it is only Marini. It hasn't evolved, so it didn't gain the massive defense stats yet. Alright, next up, Golbat. Will you switch your Pokemon this time? To be honest, we are perfectly fine for that as well. One Thunderbolt's all we need, isn't it? Alolan Raichu, conqueror of everything that can fly. And that is Team Skull Grunt times 5 defeated. Our 200% is like, what percentage of your strength? Yeah, exactly. Pretty much nothing compared to what I've got on me. I'm not giving up, even though you beat me. I'm part of Team Skull, we're thick as anything. Do you mean that? That's enough. No one wants to see a sore loser. Now, are you going to actually talk? Because that would be the best idea, given the situation. <laughs> you, girly. Lily, right? You really ready to do this finally? To be honest, I've treated you really badly. Even if I was just doing the work the president told me to, I shouldn't have done all that. Even if I apologize now, I know it's probably too late for you to forgive me, though. Oh, so you were, like, always... Were you an A for employee before you did this? I don't know. See, Guzma, he really likes the president. She's the only adult who ever seemed to see how strong he was. The president? My mother is... she's selfish. She lavishes her love only on those she deems worthy, not caring whether it is wanted or not. But I will save her. I still have something I need to tell her. And I think I can save Guzma as well. You know, deep down, you're kind of like the president. You've gone a different direction, but I can tell you have the same strength in your convictions. Bring Guzma back, if you can. I know you've got no reason to help, but no one can make up for what they've done or if they're gone. And you, Alessandri, looks like you were special after all. You didn't just stand up to Team Skull, you even took on the darkness inside Aether. Looks like you're the real deal. The realest Pokemon trainer I've seen around. Take good care of our little princess here. This is my way of saying sorry, okay? Take it. It's Poisonium Z. So a new Z move obtained. Oh yeah. You got your first stone directly from Type of Coco, didn't you, Alessandri? You better take care of it. It's one special Z ring you've got there. A trainer is only a trainer because of the Pokemon with them. If you ever forget that, you'll bring the wrath of the Tapu down upon yourself. You should be fine, though. I'm out of here. I should be fine? For what reason? That's what I really want to know. I suppose even Team Skull is not all bad. Thanks for helping me again, Alessandri. And here, let me thank your team, too. Some HP up? Why, right, thank you. Well, I guess we should probably talk to Hapu, too. All right, Alessandri, let's go to the altar. The vast pony canyon lies ahead of us. we got to talk to Hapu, too. It'd be a bit nice of us. Hi, Miss 7 you, friend. Truth is, I totally dig that Team Skull pose. <laughs> Was that the uh, Poisonian pose? Well, I guess we'll find out next episode. Maybe. You never know what comes. I'm Pokemon Moon. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.